right. So you could read in the description, this is a, another holster review. How many Kydex holsters are on the market? Millions. Let's see. Let's go ahead and this is one is from Red River Tactical. I just want to start off first up. I bought this with my money. Saw a couple pictures online. Thought they had a unique twist to the style of holster. So I didn't try to solicit any free reviews or anything like that. It's not kind of not my style. Um, special ordered this. Had them had them make a, a few design changes to it. They were super, They were more than willing. They didn't even charge me extra. And I ordered it. I think Thursday night. And they said they'd send it out Monday. They ended up sending out Friday, Friday night, Saturday morning, and it got here Monday. So all the way from Tennessee, all the way over to uh, Utah, where I'm hailing from. So well, enough chit chat. Let's let's get this open. Let's check it out. This is going to fit my new Sig P320, which I will go ahead and put on. Get a review going for that. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Love stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? Got some business cards. This guy was really cool to work with. Let's, let's bust it out. All right, let's get rid of that. Here we are. Mystery bag, the black bag, and boom, oh yeah, look at that zombie green. Oh, that's nice, wow. They really rounded that, they like buffed the edges. Let's see, I'm just kind of giving you first impressions. I did not open this beforehand. Or it's got the Blade Tech paddle on it. I picked this zombie green from the side, I thought, uh normally just stick with all black but i figured i'd give it a give it a whirl since when the when the pistol's in there you're not really going to see the zombie green that much let's go ahead and pull this pistol out show it's unloaded here nothing in the chamber mags empty here we go let's see how it fits initial fit Ooh, that's nice Let's get you guys a good look at that. So the custom design here was I wanted, hold on, you know what? I think this goes one click more. There you go, one more click there. Looks like it's about right now. It does have adjustable tensioning right here. So custom design, this is normally pretty low on there on their, when they sell it on their site. Wanted to make sure I was within an inch and three quarters from the ejection port to meet some uh, competition guidelines. But at the same time, it's got a big enough opening on the side here, low enough cut to be able to, let's see. I'm gonna work with that, uh, kind of a weird hold on it, but. All right, that is. Might need to loosen it just ever so slightly. Just checking it out here, all the curves and lines. It does look real good. I like how they finished the edges. It's not just left. It must have polished it. I will probably loosen that just a bit. It's gonna be a lot different on the belt though. Once it's on the on the waist Definitely going to have, see if we can even get that inside there, the right color. It's a little too bright with the lights I got, but it's a nice, it's a nice zombie green. Looks good. All right. Looks good. Don't see too many markings happening. You know, just the little pinches up here, but it's plastic on metal, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. So the thought was, since it's got that deeper cut, this is their design here. Let me uh, let me try to remember what the design was here on this advanced advanced cut. 
Red River Tactical Advanced Cut, I believe. I'll go ahead and put that in the notes. What model it is there. Of holster, they've got, I think, three or four outside the waistband holsters. Um, yeah. Really liking the initial or initial quality of it. I'll go ahead and put it on here and see what it feels like and see if I can adjust the camera for that. This is a... Uh, supposed to be able to have a threaded barrel here from the from the description but it doesn't look like that threaded barrel would actually come out just barely maybe but that's a easy mod simple loving that green green accent on there get some pictures up here too pictures will work better than the lighting out here all right, let me go ahead and put this on and we can uh, get a better feel of how it works on the, on, on the waist. All right, I want to show you the, the reason for the advanced cut right here for the low, low cut is that, that slightly quicker draw. So I'm going to do it kind of in slow motion and I'm going to hold it because it's going to not really work in slow motion. But a pull out. And at that point, I can move the gun out. I don't have to go all the way up and out. It's just right there. So maybe I'll do it full speed. Maybe I can put that in slow motion on uh, YouTube for you. All right. All right, here it is on the waist. Move a little closer. Get that slight, slight green accent on there. Not gonna fall out. It's not going anywhere. Your attention haven't adjusted it yet, haven't set it up for me, just out of the box. I'm liking it. It's not gonna come off. Ooh, shake that. Yeah. Fits that uh, optic on there, doesn't doesn't protrude, doesn't get in the way.